Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so uh, this is my third video on the, um, the screen mount. Now, I've been experimenting with tip angle and with side to side angle as well as, as height of the screen. This is the third complete mount that I've made and uh, one additional iteration of this, this mount with some, some changes and this is sort of version 3.5 if you want to call it that. So I'm back to a 10 degree lean back angle. Uh, I, I've gone anywhere from 4 degrees, 4, 5, 6, and uh, back at 10. Uh, it, 10 is really, really good. Um, 9 would probably be perfect. So I might just, just dust the tiniest bit off to put this one at 9 degrees just to try it. But, and then my sideways angle is, um, I believe it is uh, 14, 13 or 14 degrees to the side. And, um, and then the screen is lowered, oh, just shy of two inches, about an inch and 1.7 inches, I believe. Uh, it, that's the amount that it's lowered is difficult to zero in on because since the angles are changed, it's kind of tough to get an exact height uh, change, but I believe it's 1.7 down currently. Uh, I would personally, I would prefer it even lower. So I'm going to experiment with spacers and that, but what this is, I, I'm doing my best to um, to make this uh, this screen mount. I don't want to say to make everybody happy because if you try to make everybody happy, nobody is. But uh, I'm trying to resolve any potential issues with it. Now, the reason that I didn't really show you guys uh, the the screen mount with the screen angle to the side is that I had one of the angles wrong. The um, the mount. The, the original screen mounts that go down into the dash go down at a, a very specific, relatively steep angle. And uh, you have to flatten that angle out in order to get the screen to sweep side to side without making it tip as you sweep it. And I didn't get that, that secondary angle correct, so when I would sweep the screen to the side, it was leaning left. And it, it was just really weird, so I, didn't, I didn't, um, didn't do any filming with it. Like It just looked weird. So, uh, but I've spent uh, the better part of today uh, altering and remachining and making one new part. And uh, to get the screen to, to angle to the side, uh, to adjust from standard to angle to the side without changing the axis that it's moving at. So to that end, this is where we're at. And I gotta tell you, it is, I thought I would hate it tipped to the side, but now that I have the uh, the axis, the pivoting axis vertical, uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I thought for sure I would like it just symmetrical. I wouldn't want to tip it to the side, but I love this. Oh, the, uh, the door still opens just fine. It's obviously closer on the left to the screen than it is on the right but the door does open just fine. Uh, everything in back is tuck, tucked up nice and, and uh, clean. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the right side of the screen is definitely easier to reach. Now, when the screen tips to the side, for those of you that didn't see my previous video, it doesn't just angle. It, the screen sweeps to the right. It sweeps to the right about, oh, I believe it is uh, six tenths of an inch or um, around 15 millimeters. It sweeps to the right and then comes out. And I did that to minimize how much of your hand blocks or how much of the screen is blocked by your right hand. Also, what I found is when you sweep it to the side, it it just looks better. Otherwise, if you just angle it and leave it right in the center of the dash, again, it, it kind of tucks behind the steering wheel more and it, it looks wrong. Sweeping it to the right and then angling it definitely seems to be uh, the better uh, the better option there. Now, um, this is a, a very interesting um, setup because it's I, I'm so used to seeing everything, all the, the line of the screen, the bottom line of the screen match up with the lines in the console. And, and I, this this is foreign to me. This uh, this tip. I've been in this car for over fifty thousand miles, and I've been used to the screen the way it it was. 
but this, especially using the uh, using the nav, it is just uh, it, it's you're looking more directly at the at the map, and um, in fact, part of me wouldn't mind experimenting tipping it even further, but one problem is this corner ends up sticking out. It moves to the right and sticks out, so it's it's closer to the passenger, and uh, so I, I want to minimize how much. Uh, passenger space intrusion there is so um, and it does look fine from the driver's seat from the the passenger seat and from the rear seat and I'll show you some video of that here so this is the view from the passenger seat uh, you can see that um, it is uh, you know though it's on an angle toward the driver it's still very very accessible not a problem at all There's a view from the back seat. In fact, you can't you almost can't even tell it's tipped to the side from the back seat. So, and here's my view from the driver's seat. And uh yeah, it definitely is nice that the camera does a terrible job of conveying three dimensions, but uh yeah. Definitely I think we're in the uh in the right spot as far as all the angles go. At this point I'm pretty well set on all of the the features of the mount, and the I've got an arrangement uh, or a, a date set up with the the machinist to uh, to drive down to his shop. He's several hours away from me, and go over all of the production on this. And um, a quick recap: the screen's been lowered roughly uh, 1.7 inches. It is tipped back 10 degrees, and then it's angle adjustable so it can be straight parallel with the dash or swept to the right and for those of you that haven't seen the previous videos I suggest you go ahead and watch my other screen uh, videos but this is just an update I wanted to show you guys uh, what you can expect that it'll look like angled to the side this is the the furthest that at least this design prototype angles to the side and uh, yeah I'm I'm very pleased with it the screen is actually sitting level, although it, there's an optical illusion that it's it's hard to tell when you're sitting in the car. Uh, but it is, um, yeah, I'm I'm very pleased with it. So uh, I've gotten oh I don't know dozens of orders. I have to count them up exactly. But uh, for those of you that have already ordered a screen mount, thank you very much. I will keep you uh, posted on updates on uh, as we move toward production and when I have a um, the the leather boot that goes around the back when I have the first one of those uh, back from the upholstery shop and I'll keep all of you guys just apprised of what's going on for those that that this is the first time that you've seen anything about this screen mount I suggest you go back and watch the previous videos but the um, I'm selling this screen mount it's two pieces of machined aluminum bolts hardware a, uh, a decorative uh, leather boot or sock that goes around the mechanical part in the back and uh, it's $275 I'm asking for a $50 deposit PayPal to me my uh, PayPal email address will be a link in the description below so if you want to order a screen mount you can go ahead and PayPal me $50 and you'll get on the list we're looking at about a two month uh, two month production time uh, to get the initial prototypes from the machine shop do any changes uh, that need to be made and then um, put them into production so that's where we're at with it and uh, I am I'm very very pleased with it it's extremely solid I mean it's it's just as strong as the original as the screen bolted into the dash I mean it's it's crazy strong in fact it might even be stronger because there's a, a degree of, of um, triangulation that occurs in my mount that's really not uh, present in this just the, the screen uh, mount posts in the back so anyway uh, yeah I'm gonna use it angled like this for the next few days and I'll keep you guys posted another thing that I didn't point out um, previously or I might have mentioned it but I, I have found the screen stays a lot cooler tipped on tipped back on this angle and lowered there's no direct sunlight that hits the back of the screen it, it the Sun hits it at an oblique angle also, when you angle the screen and sweep it to the right, then the uh, the air from the right from the right vent, if you angle the air from the right vent over to the left, it will catch the back of the screen and cool the back of the screen. So another nice little benefit. 
anyway, I've got some other ideas for um, uh, products related to the screen, but I want to get this screen mount in production first. Uh, also, keep an eye out. I've got my custom steering wheel. Uh, the upholstery shop is supposed to be working on it. It's supposed to be done this coming week. So, uh, excited to show you guys that as well. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, uh, yeah, excited to show you guys all of the production and, and just, um, you know, keep you apprised of how everything's going. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye now. All right, so there's the... There's the screen angled to the side, so let's see that it's a thick machined aluminum, two separate pieces. Get up underneath it there. You can see down through the windshield that it's angled to the side. There's the view from the passenger seat. Very nice.